What do you do when you lose the love of your life? How do you go on knowing that from this moment everything will be less important, less beautiful, less magical? Sue was the woman I loved, my one true companion. And now she's gone. If you're seeing this, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope you're missing me now. Adam, you go on and live a wonderful life. Please don't remember me like this. Remember the beautiful times we had and the dream. You ask me why was I always recording? I guess this was why. So tell me, tell me the dream. Well, the dream is a bakery. Oh, come on, be serious. Yeah, it's small, but it'd be clean. And I'll be sleeping away in the kitchen, and you'll be up front waiting for the customers. Hey, can I ask you a question? <laughs> sure. Have you ever felt like you're in a dream when you're awake? With you, all the time. So, when did you start baking? Well, I must be around seven or eight. As I watched my grandmother cook, she would tell me that it didn't matter what I did or how much money I made. As long as I can cook one thing well, <laughs> just to get a wife. <laughs> wow, must be some incredible buns. Oh, I assure you, sir, they are. Do you want to try them? So what do you think? Love it. You know, right? So, so, so. Help! Hey, baby. I know you're scared, but everything's gonna be all right. Okay? You fainted, and I brought you to the hospital. And everything's gonna be all right. I love you. Hey baby, I'm going in for surgery soon. Wish me luck, okay? Mm, when all of this is over, we're building you that bakery. I love you so much. Dreams do come true, if you want them to.